Welcome to this small video on econ model. Uh, econ model is a Python package I have written to make it easier to work with economic models in Python. The idea is that if you sort of work with this uh, package and it's based on the model class it provides, then you structure your code in a specific way, which makes it easier to copy, saving and loading uh, the model. Additionally, the package sort of provides an interface to, to number functions, which is easy to, uh, to use, and also provides an interface to C++ functions. C++ functions is sort of, an, uh, sort of the, the frontier in terms of if you really want to have speed in your code, you probably need, need uh, to write that. So here I'm, I'm in the, the GitHub repository for, for the package. Uh, you can just install it as all in the other package with pip installed econ model and sort of examples of how to use the package is, is shown in this econ model notebooks uh, uh, repository. And so you can look examples of there and I will show you sort of the, the main example. Just to give you a brief overview sort of what you use this for is that you basically use the econ model class. So you can import that from econ model. And then the idea is that you have a class and you set it up based on this sort of you inherit a lot of stuff from this class and then you have to specify settings set up and allocate in settings you choose sort of fundamental stuff uh, which could be uh, sort of which kind of namespaces do you have and the like in setup you set sort of parameters in, in your model which are sort of totally free and in allocate you set parameters that depend on other parameters compound parameters or you allocate uh, uh, arrays um, in settings, you can sort of do various stuff that I will not not mention in terms of uh, of details. But what's important is that if you do nothing, then you have something called .par, which is for parameters, .sim, which is for simulation, and .solve, which is for for, for for the solution. And then once you have set your model up in this way, then you can sort of uh, copy or save it or create it as as a, as a dictionary. And you can then sort of load uh, the model uh, a, a, again uh, using sort of the the, the syntax that that that, that is uh, that is here, or you can sort of if you have it in a dictionary, then you can create it uh, from uh, from the, the dictionary, uh, and then sort of the nice thing in terms of of of, um, of uh, using number is that you can use the the code line that's here. That if you have sort of the use the JIT um, function from from econ model, then you can JIT your model, and then you can use also sort of these complex namespaces inside your number uh, number functions which is uh, which is an, a small and nice thing then there's a lot of stuff about c++ which i will not 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 talk about you can also sort of clone this repository and and install it in um, in development mode such that you can understand what the code is it's actually doing and finally sort of this uh, econ model package is used in some other packages that i have written uh, consult which is used for consumption saving models the model tools which is used for general equilibrium models and that for example is used in the in the course advanced macroeconomics heterogeneous uh, agent models uh, and then also baby macro uh, which there is another uh, video on but let us look at an example of uh, using the de uh, the e econ uh, model class so here i am in the econ model net, uh, notebooks uh, repository i've down, down, downloaded that you can see i've also downloaded the econ model uh, repository we can sort of have a look in that and if we look inside there then sort of the basic part of of the package is in econ model.py where there is this big um uh, this big econ model class which contains a lot of stuff uh, which you don't need to understand, but we sort of is doing a lot of smart things uh, under uh, under the hood. But let's see how we can use it in practice. So here I'm just uh, importing standard stuff, and I'm importing the econ model class, and I'm importing it yet. And then, uh, as I told you, sort of the model is required to have settings set, set up and allocate. So in in the case here, then uh, I will do uh, just inherit. In my model class inherited from econ model class, I will not choose any particular uh, settings. That will mean that as default, sort of the namespaces .par, .solve, and .sim uh, is, uh, is, is there. And then in setup, I choose various uh, parameters for uh, uh, to be set, sort of some, some integers, some floats, and, and, and whatever, a string, and so on. And then in allocate, 
I now also uh, sort of create some arrays that are in uh, par uh, and in and in sol. So this is an x array and and a y array. And then I define sort of a, a solve function for this for this class here, which just is some function that takes some of my parameters and puts something into my into my solution object. The important thing is that once you have called setup and allocate, then types of variables cannot change. Sort of sizes of array can, but the, but the uh, but they should continue to be uh, arrays of the same number of uh, of, of dimensions. Um, so and that's sort of that that's because the number can keep track of that this is actually a model that is the same and has not has not changed. So we can define the model in 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 this way, and as I said, you can sort of specify extra settings if 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 you need that. So now we can we can set up a, a version of the model. I give it a name here. I give it an example, and I can I can solve the model as we would do with any other thing. Now you might have forgotten what's inside the model. So sort of if you call print on the model, then it sort of print everything out. What the model class is, what name it has, what namespaces there are, where. Uh, uh, safe version of the model we will be saved. What are what's in parameters and what in salt and what's in sim and how many, uh, how, how much memory do, does that uh, does that use? Okay, you can also sort of do stuff where you, when you create the model, then then you change some parameter values. So here I would be changing a to 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 three before a was was two. Now I change it to to three by sort of providing this. This dictionary of, of updates when I when I create the model. We can always un, uh, unpack our stuff, and we can sort of see that what happens under the, under the hood is that these par and the same for sol and sim they are sort of simple in namespaces. Now for the more interest, interesting part, you can sort of take the model and then you can copy it, uh, and then you can can can, can save it. Uh, so let's take a copy of the model and let's save the model. And then we can actually load the model based on uh, this uh, name that, that, that it has and the load e equal true. And then we have the model loaded, which is sometimes nice if you have done some work that took some time, then you can save the model and then you can get it, get, get exactly back uh, where, where you were. You can also create the, create the model as a dictionary and then you can uh, sort of uh, you can turn it in, into a dictionary and then you can create the model from this uh, uh, dictionary. That's sometimes useful if you do uh, parallel computing and, 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 and similar stuff. Then sort of the, the golden part of this is, is the number interface. So the problem with number often is that it only allows, allows specific types. So it doesn't allow the simple name, name, namespaces. That often implies that you have very long list of arguments for number functions. Um, but here the trick is that there is this function called called JIT in, in econ model, which temporarily turns all namespaces into name tuples. And name tuples they can be used in uh, in in number functions. So let's say we have some function here. That's that's exactly my salt function from 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 before. Um, then I can sort of say how do how can I test number? The way I can test number is I can sort of write a function uh, where I uh, use this JIT on the model. Such that now I want sort of the digital version of the model is model underscore jit, and then I can call the function with model underscore jit dot par and model underscore jit dot 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 solve. And then if I run this, uh, then I'll just define it and now I can run it. Um, and you can sort of see that, that that this works. It spends some time in the beginning and analyzing the function, but then it's uh, then it's sort of then it's very, very fast to run this uh, this afterwards. We can sort of just check that the result is the same as uh, as uh, uh, as we would would expect. So we can see that everything ha has run. On a bit more advanced sort of notice, what what's also sort of the way this is set up implies that if I create a new model, then it will in generally require some time to recompile the number function because it doesn't know whether this model is exactly the same as the one before. But if you make a copy. Uh, then it sort of then it then it's very very fast that that it uh, that it sort of uh, that, that it can can do this uh, so that's that that's sort of a, a smart part of this. You can also always sort of check if you look up in model and then sort of underscore ns for namespace specs. Then you can see okay the variables that are in there which types have they sort of uh, been inferred to be. 
So for the n, it was going to be uh, an integer, a uh, numby uh, integer, uh, um, 32, and b is a float, text is a, is a string, and, 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 and so on. And you can sort of see uh, for the arrays, which kinds of d types do they have? So uh, what does it or what does it expect that that to be, and what are the uh, uh, dimensions of, of the things that are that are in there? That's sort of if you don't know exactly why the why are getting problems, it might be useful to look this up. And sort of the problem here is that that if I if I do something like 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 the following here, I can this is sort of a test number errors function which tries to do the test number. And otherwise, it prints out what what the error is. And you can see if, if I do this, then it then it then it says it as a problem because now this part of a has type class int, while it should be class float or class numby dot float sixty four, and that's exactly what 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 we saw up 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 here. So that doesn't work. You cannot change the type when you, when when you do this. Um, um, while, for example, if you add another, there's, there, there was no no C up here. If you add add that, then that's also not allowed. So we'll also complain about about that. If you change the uh, the number of dimensions of X, then it will complain about that. Um, if you change the the type of the array, then it will be complain about uh, that. If you need to change types, then you would need sort of to re-infer the type. So you can sort of Call infer types on, on on the model, and then it can actually run. Uh, one thing you should also notice is that sort of once you are in the JIT mode, then then uh, sort of parameters are immutable. So you cannot do something like with JIT on the model, and as model JIT, and then set that equal to uh, to zero. That doesn't uh, work. It says that this uh, attribute cannot uh, be set. Uh, so that that is uh, that that is not uh, viable. Okay, so the rest of this notebook is about calling a C plus plus, and the other notebooks in the uh, um, uh, in the folder is also about that. So I will not not tell you anything about that. You can explore that on your uh, on your own if if you're interested. Uh, but what I hope you get get out of this this video is that by using this uh, econ model uh, class as sort of a basis for how to build your model classes then you get access to simple stuff about printing the model uh, copying saving and loading the model and interacting with with number functions thank you